All right, so it's still the 30th of October, still technically my birthday. And um, yeah, the song went down very quick. I got a package from Music Magpie. This is not a birthday present, this is something I bought. Yeah, uh, my mum uh, bought that off eBay and it was more expensive than it would be off Amazon. So we're filing a return. I found he also has a chip around his eye, that grommet. So yeah, we're gonna file a return and hopefully get the money back and then just order it off Amazon. Okay, so this was God, he's seen better days. But uh, this is Michael Jackson, the broadcast archives. This was, I think, nine or 11 pound on a thingy. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. That is completely sealed. Michael Jackson, 1996. And then this is the Japan broadcast, okay. Okay, so it is nice that we got them, so yeah, the Jacksons is still sealed. Ooh, the CD was in the other way around. Hopefully it looks alright. So, yeah. Hooray for that, so yeah, I'll be ripping these and converting them, so yeah, uh, pretty happy to have these and that. And uh, this thing can get bloody expensive, by the way. It can get very expensive, so yeah. It's a shame it's so frayed in that. The box is so frayed at the corners. Oh, and it's got a bloody tear as well. Bloody hell. Yeah, I might see. I don't know. God, I might have a chat with Music Magpie about that, because, God, that's bloody torn, that. Bloody hell. Well, there we go. Okay, so it's still the 30th of October. Which is, again, still my 25th birthday. I've got a headache now. I'm just bloody exhausted. Yeah. Uh, right. Also, a quick update on the uh, Gromit uh, statue. Um, the seller uh, agreed to have it returned. I noticed there was also a chip around his eye in that. So, yeah, as soon as I get the money back from that, I'm going to order it from Amazon, which... It was a t on Amazon you can get for a tenner less than what my mum paid. Why she did that, like, this is why I tell her not to get surprised and my dad was annoyed as well, saying, you know, why do you bother doing this? And that, because she's crap at it. Anyway, Amazon package. So yeah, this cost uh, £25 off Amazon. Was on offer though. And this is, Something that will help you store things a bit, hopefully. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, you've got to be joking. No. <laughs> All the bits bloody went flying. All the hooks and stuff went flying all over the place. Right, so... We get a couple of adhesive hooks if you want to put it, say, on a wall. Um, I will not be putting it on the wall because I don't really have a place to put it on the wall. I'm actually going to use these to hook it over the top of my door, uh, my cupboard door, and put them on one side. They'll just kind of throw out. But this here, <laughs> it's hard to get all on, on camera here, but this has got various compartments and that and it's got five in total and uh, basically this one is meant to be a slightly better one than the others it's meant to not bend as much hopefully so hopefully it's made a stronger stuff but this I'm planning on putting uh, basically some blu-rays and stuff like that in there because uh, I've got to, I've obviously got to clear out my granny's apartment and get everything out of there these are I think these are like lids for them or something. I'm not quite sure what they're for. Or, oh, are you meant to put them in there and they're the bases? Ah, I've got you. Okay, so there should be five of them. There is. Okay, so these are the bases for them. Oh, you get another hook there. I was going to say, there we go. Okay, so those are the bases and that for them. Okay, so that makes sense. That makes sense. I can. <laughs> I'll uh, set that all up uh, later. Not too much, but yeah, okay. Anyway, got a big bag here of stuff because uh, I went out 
uh, shopping in Sunderland and that. And uh, interesting story actually. Um, there was basically I I went to the Smiths and Sunderlands and that. I walked there from uh, the Pallion uh, Metro Station, and uh, basically I was going to get a bus back into Sunderland and that to you know do it, look around a few other places. However, time was not on my side because most places were shutting at half past five. And basically, it was quarter to, f it was quarter to five, got on the bus. I thought, oh, I'll have plenty of time. The bus journey only takes like five, ten minutes. Nope, the bus journey took about half an hour. Just about. Because I uh, got halfway there, and this guy who was pissed out of his mind on something, I don't know whether it was just alcohol or not, but he was like, oh, Oh, dude, I got a fucking ticket away. Yeah, uh, but basically, this guy just got on the bus, like, just walked straight on when everyone else, you know, was paying for their ticket or was showing their tickets. And the bus driver rightly said, you know, where's your ticket? He, he said, oh, somewhere in my pocket. And he began to, you know, he fumbled in his pockets and stuff like that for the next bloody 20 minutes. And after, you know, five minutes, the bus driver just asked him, you know, either pay or get off the bus. And he was basically refusing to get off the bus and he was, and that, um, and he was starting to, you know, shout and swear at the bus driver and that. Uh, eventually, after the, you know, after, I think, 20, 25 minutes, I can't remember how long it was. Uh, basically, the bus driver said, you got, you get, you're getting off now or I'm calling the police. Basically, he'd already contacted um, the bus company himself. So thankfully, he did eventually get off, and God, it slowly got off. The annoying thing was, while I was sitting there, other buses bloody went past. I was just the thing is, I didn't notice them until they got gone past us, because you couldn't really see out of the back window, because it was like an advertisement over the back window. Plus, it was getting a bit dark at this time. So yeah, that was irritating. Anyway, from. Toy this I, I got this actually from Toying City and this one I managed to nip in there just before it closed. So I picked this up from Toying City and uh, it's the S Sonic from Sonic Prime Malo. It might as well, apart from the shoes and the gloves, might as well just be a regular Sonic. In fact, you could very much get away with it being a regular Sonic and that. So although obviously this one has a bit more detail and that to him because also he's a bit larger than that, he has more articulation, but yeah, picked him up, he was £15. And also from Toy Entertainer, I picked up this, which is a little uh, Tails bouncy ball, there he is. Oh, this one's a... Oh, it's... I just noticed he's a bit crumpled up on this one, that's annoying. But yeah, it's a little like cat ball type thing with a teal thing in there it only cost me one pound 25 and i thought oh well it's a bouncy ball or something like that so yeah why not everything else i got from smith's which i picked up this because this was on sale for 12.99 so i got the uh thorn rose figure which, yeah, um, I do quite like this figure. I'm surprised uh, they didn't do Rusty Rose, interestingly. They did in the uh, two and a half inch scale figure for uh, that Jack's gig. But yeah, uh, interesting that they did uh, the Thorn Rose uh, variants. Though I guess maybe because uh, she has her own dedicated episodes to her. Whereas uh, Rusty Rose is, you know, she is in it throughout and that. But, you know, she doesn't really get dedication that much time dedicated to her compared to that i guess i don't know i also picked up this this was on sale for 15 pound so yeah not really much else to say not really much else to say but yeah for 15 quid five pound per figure yeah it's a pretty good deal it's a pretty good deal particularly to get uh the eggman and the classic sonic uh versions uh, is the is the Mecha Sonic is that is that exclusive to this three pack? I can't remember. He might be, he might not be, but he does have a really nice paint job to him. And then finally, because I literally saw, even though it said on the website there was none in stock there, uh, there was actually one left. So I picked up another <laughs> Spider Gwen for twenty quid. 
And uh, this one, I think I'll probably open. I'll probably open it as stealthily as I can without destroying the box. But yeah, I thought hey, I'll get I'll get another one, another one to you know this one I'll actually open. And that so that's everything. And that I picked up today. But then another package came from Amazon, and this is a vinyl record. Of a record that I would have gotten immediately had I known it had been released. And the only reason I knew, basically, uh, my friend is starting to basically get into collecting more vinyl records. He does have a turntable already, uh, but he's getting an Audio Technica Sandburger for Christmas. I don't know why, because he's never going to leave the house with it. But he wanted a better turntable, and it is technically better than what he's already got. Uh, he's basically got that uh, little one that Tecmon reviewed. But uh, the problem is he doesn't like music. Which is a problem when it comes to vinyl records. Because most of it is music. And that, and he's not a big fan of soundtracks and that either. So yeah. For him it's very limited. But oh. oh that's disappointing. I, th I was hoping they'd do it where they put it in a box inside of a box. They haven't. Though... Thankfully, I think this is all right since it comes in a sleeve. It comes in a sleeve, so I think the sleeve is the thing that is... Oh no, it hasn't saved it. Nah, it hasn't. It's got... Yeah. For fuck's sake, Amazon, stop putting things in fucking boxes that are too big. I can already see it's got damage and that to it. I'm just going to double... I'm going to open it up just to double check it. But I'm pretty sure I'm... Yep. Damage there. Damage there. Damage there. So this is the Possum Book soundtrack. This is the orange vinyl. Of it. Uh, which is also limited. But uh, yeah, that's so bloody annoying. So it means I'm going to have to go back to the post office again. Tomorrow to take something back. And then, like, stop. Like, sometimes the package them. Amazon, stop packaging things so fucking badly. This irks me to no end. So, yeah, I want a replacement of that and sending it back. Oh, God, it bloody pisses me off to no end. So, yeah, there we go, people. There we are. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Everything's fucking falling off. Oh, God. I've got that much bloody stuff piled up here. And it all just keeps falling off. Yeah, including my bloody scissors. And that as well. And they just fell off again. Everything I put down, it bloody falls off. It's like I'm bloody cursed. Okay, so it's the 1st of November today, and the first thing I don't actually have to unbox because I'm sending it back again. So I've received my replacement Puss and Books vinyl and... Oh god, everything's falling over. Look at it. Oh, wrong picture. There we go. So there it is there. And there it is there. The actual... Vinyl record was actually snapped in half. Yeah, it was snapped in half as well. The actual record itself. Uh, I never actually opened the record itself. I could feel it was in two bits. So I'm assuming it's been snapped in half. And uh, yeah, you know what Amazon sent it in? A paper... Paper. They sent it in paper, basically. A literal, basically, Primark level paper bag. That's what they sent it in. It's like, oh god. For fuck's sake, man. For fuck's sake. And I can tell this camera is going to run out of battery in a second. And I don't know if I've got a USB cable long enough to get to it. Maybe this one's long enough. Come okay, on. Problem is, the bloody connector is on this side. There we go. There we go. Okay, so just about reaches. Just about there. But anyway, we've got a couple. The other thing 
actually came in a box. Yeah. And and the thing is, it's not the Amazon employees for I know why. Because they're bloody under time pressure and everything, but you know, Amazon, if you don't want this many bloody returns, put things in like package things properly, give your workers enough time. Look at this, this was actually packaged reasonable. And hopefully the thing inside isn't damaged. So this is the Wallace. Um, for those who remember, it might be a different video. But uh, my mum got me the grommet of this, out of this set, for my birthday. But she bought a one on eBay for £25, which is more than its retail price. Even though it was on Amazon for £14. And it was damaged, and it had a chip out of its eye, and it had some lumpy scuff on the side of it, and the box was bloody filthy and also bashed to bits. Uh, that is thankfully being returned, and we're still waiting for a refund. But uh, hopefully the Wallace, I got this Wallace, I think he was £16, I think he's alright. Looks alright. Yeah. Thankfully the Wallace and that, he seems okay, thankfully. He doesn't have a massive, like, lumpy thing on him. And that, so, yeah, thankfully the Wallace is alright, and I do really like this. I do really like these. Uh, these are, you could argue that they're more generic, but I think they're supposed to be Curse of the Were-Rabbit, but I'm not quite sure, but, uh, yeah. Overall, I'm uh, quite happy with him. I'm going to put him... Just to one side, just, just for now. Ooh, bloody. Yeah, it's weird to have polystyrene in there. You can tell it's an older product. And then we've got something else. Which this thing I think cost me uh, £26, or it might have even been a full 30 I can't remember. There's an invoice here, and the invoice should tell me how much it was. Um, twenty six ninety five. Okay, so twenty seven pounds for this, and I'm gonna be annoyed if it does get a UK release like next week. But he seems to have gone pretty rare all of a sudden. But it is the Blackheart Bonnie. So yeah, interestingly, this one doesn't have any sticker on it. Seeing because normally it would say either special edition exclusive or. Walmart's exclusive, depending on where it was released. This doesn't have either on there. So yeah, this is an interesting one. But uh, yeah, I've been wait BC, I, I could have got this ages ago. But I was waiting for it to hopefully maybe get a UK release. Um, unfortunately, it still hasn't. So yeah, when I saw one on eBay going for £27, which is essentially probably about double what this would actually if it did come out in the UK I thought well it's not ridiculously expensive compared to some because some I've seen going on eBay for bloody 90 odd quid so yeah very out with that uh, nothing wrong with it and that at all and it is a pretty cool figure you can see his sort of black heart and that uh, his actual heart in there so yeah it's a really nice thing so yeah it looks like it's going more for I don't know I don't know about it, but it does look quite creepy. I think it's particularly uh, the inside sort of teeth that are painted in that in there. It's got like his regular rule, but then the inside teeth are like painted in that as well. Yeah. But overall, that's a it is a real nice thing. So regardless of that, this is a nice variant. This is a nice, worthy variant. And that. I definitely prefer ones like that to the... Christmas ones, uh, so, but, uh, yeah, there we go, people, there we go.